Hello everyone, the Code Talk is here and in this video I'm going to share a story how I created an open source project and earned money from that. Several years ago I built an HTML CSS JavaScript admin panel. My only purpose at the time was to sell it on a marketplace such as Rap Bootstrap. But eventually I decided to make an open source project. I created a website, I posted my admin panel there, I pushed my source code on GitHub and after several months something really interesting happened. That happened somewhere in 2015-2016. When I started working on this admin panel my only purpose was to sell it on a marketplace. I was working on this project for about 6 months. When I finished, I submitted on a marketplace, but I got rejected. Then I reworked for one extra month, I resubmitted, but I got rejected again with the reason that the design quality does not satisfy marketplace standards. I got really disappointed and sad, but at the time I had to give up, I had to find a full-time job because I was working on this project as the only thing, and I found a job. I started working there and after several months I made the website, I posted my admin panel there, yeah, I decided that if I wasn't able to sell it in the marketplace, I decided to offer it as a free open source project to the world. I created a landing page for it, I posted admin panel there, I created live preview and download links right there as well, and I added comment section as well, so if someone would have any questions, they could just easily ask. While I was working on this admin panel, I also created several very unique JavaScript and jQuery plugins exclusively for this admin panel. I created a dedicated pages for those plugins as well, I wrote documentation, and there on the website there were a couple of pages, and very often those plugins were getting traffic for the admin panel as well. I also created a separate website which was just my CV, nothing else, and I linked from my landing page of admin panel to my CV, so if someone would reach my admin panel, they could easily see a link like a callout section, they could just click it and find my CV, and if they wanted, they could hire me. In a nutshell, I did my best to let the world know about my product, and if they needed to contact me, they could easily do that. I simply wanted the product on which I spent six months of work to be used by someone. To be honest, I didn't expect that much attention. My admin panel had about 30,000 downloads, the other plugins which I exclusively created for the admin panel, they also had a lot of downloads, much more than the admin panel. I also had Google AdSense added on my website, which was earning about $20 per month, it was nothing, but it was covering the server cost which I just took on one of the service providers just to host my website. After about six months, I got an email from a guy from New York. He was interested working with me, and they wanted to integrate my admin panel to their backend services. The organization was a school for kids with disabilities. They had up and through tablets they were teaching kids to certain things, and the data coming from this application was saved on their servers. And this is the place my admin panel was necessary. They really liked the design of it, and they wanted this admin panel to be used as a front-end solution for displaying this data. This guy contacted me, offered me a job, and I had to migrate from an old admin panel design to my web version, and I had to connect to their backend services. And that was a no-brainer for me. I was going to work on admin panel which I created, I knew every single line of code right there, and I would be paid for that. At the time I was working full-time on another company, so we agreed about 15 to 20 hours per week work. I could not do more than that, and my hour rate at the time was $15 per hour, it was very low. I was working like 1-2 hours every day, mostly I was working on weekends. Working on that project was really fun for me, because I knew everything in this project and just I was making the changes they needed. We're going to take a very quick break from today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is the most amazing platform to learn new topics around math and computer science in the most interactive way. When you are learning new things, a very big problem I came across on multiple learning platforms on the internet is the problem of understanding new topic. I have been using Brilliant for quite some time and I can say with confidence that it is the most interactive and the easiest to understand platform I have ever tried. You have possibility not only read, watch or see explanations, but to play around with the solution, and that definitely helps a lot to understand the problem. They have courses around math, computer science, algorithms, data science, neural networks, cryptocurrency and much much more. 
By far, my favorite courses are Introduction to Algorithms and Algorithms and Data Structures. These courses will give you a great introduction to very popular and useful algorithms such as binary search and sorting of arrays. You will learn basics of data structures such as linked list and understand how they are implemented. You will also learn what is a big O notation, which is a very ambiguous topic in most cases. Everything is explained in a very natural and easy to understand way. To try everything, Brilliant.org has offered 30 days free trial. Just visit brilliant.org slash decodeholic or click on the link in the video description. The first 200 users will get extra 20% off on annual premium subscription on Brilliant. And thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. My admin panel was fully built on HTML, CSS and JavaScript jQuery. I haven't used any framework for that. You probably have a question why? because simply I didn't know at that time. But when the client contacted me, I already have some skills of AngularJS, which is the first version of Angular. So I decided while I was working on this admin panel, I would create AngularJS version of this admin panel as well. You probably know that when you use frameworks, things are super easy. They simply wanted to use my admin panel design and connect to their backend services, so they really didn't care if I would use Angular or vanilla JavaScript or React. I worked with this client for about 18 months. I put my heart and soul in this project. I definitely mastered my AngularJS skills while I was migrating old admin panel into my version, which was already AngularJS version. I migrated, I added a lot of new features and reportings. In most cases, the data coming from the backend services were a flat type of data. So I was uh, grouping, filtering, sorting, and reducing that data and displaying that in a chart forms or in tables. After working for about one year with this client, another client approached me with roughly the same idea. They wanted to use my admin panel, integrate to their backend service, not necessarily type of reporting, but they wanted to integrate to their backend service with certain functionality. I got this offer, I agreed that rate at the time was higher, it was $30 per hour, so I increased it because I was working one year full time on the same technology, I knew much better and I could do things much faster. After about two years of working, I had saved about $25,000 from working on my admin panel. And that was completely as a side project because I was working full time as well. I also improved my JavaScript and AngularJS skills, improved my front-end skills, and in general I saw how awesome it can be when you are working on a project which is created by you and you are earning decent money from that as well. In 2017, when me and my wife bought our first home, that 25000 was our first initial transfer for that home, basically the rest of the thing was loan. So, my admin panel open source project played a huge role in buying a home for me and my family. In the future, I created Vue.js version as well for my admin panel when I learned Vue.js and use it in multiple projects in my company. Later, we also created CMS and used the admin panel as a backend for the CMS. It is so amazing to see when people from around the world are using your product and they love it and they send you messages about that. The whole idea of this story is to encourage everyone to pursue their passions and just build the products they will be proud of. There are so many ideas to monetize your product. You can think about an idea which you think might sell and then build that. If it sells successfully, congratulations, you made it. If it doesn't, you should not be worried. You can make it open source and you can add some premium features. You can make the entire application open source and free to use by everyone, but some like litter and interesting specific features which will be paid. And if people start using your open source project and they love it, they will definitely pay you. You can also accept donations for your open source project. I don't know actually why I didn't have donations. Uh, maybe because uh, donations through PayPal was not fully supported in my country. When you have a project you are proud of, you can put it in your portfolio and show it to recruiters as well. That will definitely help you in your hiring process. An extra idea for monetization your open source project is to offer them extra level of customization like what I did. You can have an open source project, but you can offer, if you want to make some changes in the open source project, I can help you. My hour rate will be this, and just like this, you can contact me if you want. I hope this video is inspiring and encouraging for you. I just wanted to share my story, which was a story of failure if we look from one angle, because 
I got rejected and my admin panel was not posted on Marketplace, but finally I turned this story of failure into a story of success. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have done something similar, if you have earned money from your open source project. I would love to know about that. All right, that's it for now. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next time.